So I wanna show you how you can launch an expert ad for any brand. I'm gonna use StockX for this example. It's like a sneaker reselling clothing, sort of like hype beast sort of clothing. You know, I wear mostly Vans. I have bought some stuff on here, but I think it's just a really good example to show you how you can use Play to launch ads like a pro in seconds from start to finish. Um, so let's get right into the demo. Okay, let's do this for StockX. We actually just did one for Prime Energy. And just to show you kind of what this will look like, uh, and I'll get into StockX, but. I mean, that is some of the creative that will be generated for you. I mean, that's pretty fire. You could always generate even more than this too. But I mean, this creative is absolute fire by just typing in new energy drink just dropped. You can see the targeting as well generated for you. So let me go from the start and do one for StockX. So how this would work is I go into, go into your brand context right here, just paste in your website like StockX right here and tap generate. This is gonna generate the entire brand context for you and everything. Um, it'll have the industry pulled in, it'll have brand name, everything. You know, you could even change these colors if you want to, to something like this. Um, this is also going to generate the instructions for you as well. So this is kind of like becoming your AI ad agent where you can add words to avoid, um, target audience. You can load this up with things like avoid hashtags, avoid emojis. So think of this as kind of building your AI ad agent to inform your targeting, your copy, and even some optimizations as well for how we're updating the ad copy with Optimize For Me. And I'll get into that as well. But this is all generated for you by just adding your website and you can add this manually too if you wanted to. So from there, we'll go to advertise and we'll tap connected accounts. So this is where you connect your ad account. So you'll be linking your own ad account into play. And this is just where you can, this, this takes less than you know two seconds, but you can just connect your ad accounts right here and your ads will actually go to your ad accounts. This also allows us to import your existing campaigns so you can manage your existing campaigns inside of play. Um, but just connect your ad accounts. Let's say we wanna do this for meta right here. Um, how this works first is that we want to go to this prompt box right here. So you can just paste in a super simple prompt. I just pulled this from the, from StockX website. Um, you can type in something as simple as, you know, new home repairs or summer sale or free trial because everything's sort of in the brand context. You can just use this for promotions and just type in free trial, or you can get more descriptive here and this will help inform the targeting. So it's up to you. You know, there's a lot of character limits in here, so you can add your own things. So, we do want to generate some of this AI creative for us. So how this will work is that you're going to select, tap select your media and you want to add raw images here, raw images, meaning like images with no text, um, just ones that we can help turn into ad creative for you. So you can select up to 10 images right here. And so we're just going to pull some from the website. So we already have the website pulled in right here. You can just tap search and we're going to pull in images from your website, but you can also upload them. You can select from your socials and, and other sources right here too. But, you know, for a good raw image, you know, this one looks good. This one looks good right here. This one, you can add more, but I think these ones look fine. You know, this one looks fine right here too. Um, we have these images right here. We have our prompt. We can just tap confirm. And now we can just tap generate right here. So this is going to generate all of our ad creative for us, our targeting, our website. Um, this is where you add your website. You can start seeing like some of the previews start pulling in right here. Okay. Okay. Let's see. So that we'll see some images as well being pulled in right here. We can preview these, find Jordan, find retro Jordans today, trade cool collectibles here. So let's say like we want to generate more. You could even edit this too. So we tap edit right here and I'll show you how you can generate even more if you don't like these templates or these, these AI generations right here. So you can type here, you know, you can type in whatever you want, you know, you know, test, whatever you want. You can sort of type it in and this will make the edits to your creative. You can change the logo out. You can pretty much do anything right here. So a bunch of different options. You can tap generate more 
this is just going to generate even more creative for you. Let's say you didn't like any of those templates or the, the smart creative options right here. Let's say we didn't like any of those generate more. Like, you know, this one looks really cool. This one wasn't originally generated, but like this one looks really good. Um, you know, this one actually looks really good right here too. So we can tab this one and like, you know what, let's say we actually wanted this in like a rectangle format. You can tab resize right here, get like a good 16 by nine. Um, and you'll see it right here as 16 by nine. So we can select this one, you know, this one looks good. And then we'll have all of these creative options right here. Um, you know, there's even more options that you could do as well. So you can do your text to image options as well. So like, let's say we want to put like, you know, we could upload an image. Let's just do one for prime. Cause I don't have a retro Jordan image uh, on me right here. So we could do something like, you know, put this on a yacht, um, in Miami, just like that, you know, and just tap generate. Okay. So we can have this right here. You know, if we wanted to do this, we could just add this as the image um, as well. So this could be an option right here. Let's preview it a little bit bigger. So yeah, you know, that's what it could look like. You can add this in here if you wanted to. Um, let's go to the video options because you can launch video ads with image ads. So same thing, you could generate more if none of these look good. You can edit these videos as well. So like if I tap edit right here, this would open up the designer and you can add like different audio options. Um, go to our audio library. So you can make really any edits that you want to this. You know, you can drag stuff around, move it around, do whatever you want. So it's kind of already ready to go. Um, you know, we'll have our ad copy already generated right here. We'll see the targeting as well. So the targeting is already in here. Um, you know, you can do your lookalike audiences. You can go to retargeting. Um, we've had Weezer and Green Day and Red Hot Chili Peppers launch ads in here their teams. So like what they'll do is just build an audience off anyone who's engaged with them on Meta or Instagram or even TikTok. Um, but you know, these interests look good. There's a bunch of other options that you could have control over as well. Um, you know, we'll have the website right here. This is where we want to send people to. You could change the goal as well. So like, let's say if we wanted leads, we can send them to an instant form. If we want to do conversions, we can select our pixel and do that. If we wanted sales or purchases, I would recommend StockX or e-commerce to do our meta catalog ads. Those tend to do better. Um, so you can market specific products if you want to. You can do awareness. Um, so, you know, if we want to change to awareness, you can go to like maximize reach right here and do that. You can also drive phone calls as well and, and messages. Um, you can add your budget. You know, let's say we want to do like 150 for the day. You can sort of see all the previews that are running too as well. So all these will be rotated, A-B tested. Uh, and everything. You can just have launch on this campaign. And you can launch this ad right here. So that's really how easy it is to create your ad. Um, if we wanted to, we could also preview sort of how this would look like across all these other platforms. So like, let's say you want to launch, you know, a Google Performance Max ad. Just by adding that prompt one time, it's actually ready to go on Google Display, um, you know, Google Search. We'll have LinkedIn ready to go, LinkedIn video, Spotify as well, TikTok. Um, so, you know, if I wanted to, I can also just go over here, tap create ad on this Google search option and just do the same thing. So everything's created. I'll have my keywords recommended for me. I could switch between different keyword groups. You know, like maybe I wanted to focus more on like, you know, resell and authentication, which is kind of what, what StockX does. Um, you can sort of change this out, but you know, all of this looks good to go. I could also just have launch campaign right here and just launch this Google ad if I wanted to. So cross-platform launches, great. You could also do the same thing on social posting. Once you launch the ad, this is sort of what it looks like. So we give you these sample results. This is from a live play campaign. Um, so you can kind of expect and, and see sort of what you're looking at right here. So, uh, you know, you can see benchmarks and everything right here. Um, you can go to optimizations, insights, get deeper level reporting, turn on optimize for me. So this kind of becomes your personal AI ad agent. Um, you can see the optimizations that it's making by removing the old asset, updating it with new asset that's likely to perform better. It does the same thing on the audiences. So it's actually making these optimizations on the back end to make sure your budget's going to the right place. Um, but you know, that's really how easy it is to, to come in and launch your first ad.
inside of play. There's some more features too that we can go over next time. You know, even if you just wanted to focus on just generating your creative assets, you can go here, you can add these images and you can have even more control over what we're generating as well. So like, let's say you just want to do nine by 16, you can add uh, your own descriptions, your own titles, um, and generate that. We have an AI meme generator and you can go to add videos as well. Same thing. And you can even add uh, text audio. So this will convert your text will generate scripts for you. And you can add that as audio on top of your video. So there's some like voice action instead of just music audio in the background. So this will generate a full script and everything for you that you can add on to your videos. Um, but you can save these as individual assets. You can do the same thing for ad copy, same thing for audio. Maybe you just want to generate some audio for your Spotify ads. You can do that. And, you know, you can just generate your ad copy and everything right here too. So this is kind of more for like generating individual assets, sort of doing some research and everything before, um, you know, so we'll have the keyword explorer and everything too coming very soon, but you know, that's really how easy it is to, to launch your first ad inside of play. So don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.